Right, so nice little technical video or technical ish as far as it gets to tying knots when it comes to myself. And it's how I attach my elastic to our new super short Dacron connectors. So a big, big fan of these connectors, used them for a very, very, very long time. And attaching your elastic to them is just really simple, but a little bit different to the norm. It's not the uh, strangulation way that you use with the longer Dacron connectors where it, it sort of loops over itself. With this, I've got to tie it directly to the loop because they're so short, otherwise you don't you end up with too much Dacron sort of thing. So you have to tie them directly to it. Really, 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 really simple. In this case, I've got a medium one. So I tend to use the medium size of bead from uh, the lowest sort of commercial elastic I'm going to use for me summer F1 fishing are 1.4, um, 8 to 10 slick. And I'll probably use a medium all the way up to a, I'm going to say 2 mil, probably the yellow stuff. What's that, 14 to 16? So a medium I'm really happy to use until my PTFE uh, connector gets too big and then I've got to swap to the large uh, style bead then just to prevent it from going into my elastic. But in this case, yeah, really, really simple. I'm going to stick a, a green one onto the medium sized bead. So first thing I'm going to do is obviously put my elastic through it. Yeah, really simple. All I'm going to tie is a simple overhand um, granny knot style thing. So one granny knot in that. Nothing fancy whatsoever at all. But what I will say is make sure it's nicely lubed. So I want a load of spit on it to keep it in place right where I need it to be. Yeah, nicely wetted. Yeah, once I've got that done, that's it in place. Really, really happy. But what I don't want, I don't want all my knot at the end of the Dacron. I don't want it like sticking on the elastic. I want my knot on the Dacron itself to close it up and potentially reduce the size of the Dacron even more. So I want that bead to stick on the Dacron, not past the Dacron. If you sort of know what I mean, I'll explain in a minute. So I've got that good to go ready. I should have probably given myself a little bit more. That'll do, we'll get away with that. And next what I'm gonna do is tie a simple overhand loop. So with that tag there, that I definitely should have left a little bit longer, what I'm gonna do is double it off and just tie a really simple overhand loop, which was actually shown to me by my gaffer at Matrix, which Sean Little showed me that one. Definitely should have left that a lot longer. So I'm gonna whiz that over and just tie one overhand loop but I'm going to make sure that it traps on the Dacron, not onto my elastic. So you see, as I'm tightening it there, this one's going beautifully. It's trapping around the Dacron. You can see the Dacron coming out the bottom of it here. Yeah, and it fixes it lovely with a great big fat knot. Goes on that again, but on top of my Dacron, it's actually tear me Dacron over on itself sort of thing, which keeps it in place. And it literally is as simple as that. That's all I want. So what I'm going to do now is just trim that off not too close, I'm going to probably leave two or three mil. Whiz him off, and now if you can look and see, if you zoomed in on that, I've got a lovely fat knot, but on top of the Dacron, not sticking down the end of it. Because what it does is it allows me to pull that bead nice and tight without pulling too much Dacron out the front of the bead. So just covering the knot, keeps it all nice, but keeps my Dacron as short as it possibly can. So I've ended up with a what, four or five mil Dacron at the most, keeping things as close as I possibly can to that bead but a really, really strong connection that lasts say, far longer than if you were connecting the line to the elastic itself. So nothing too fancy with that one, just a simple knot that does the job and that's all I'm ever looking for.